What is going on guys? I am back with another Call of Duty Top 5 slash 10. And this one is actually not a Top 5 or slash 10 to be honest. Um, today's video is going to be the Top 3 reasons why Advanced Warfare was good. Now the reason why I say 3 is because I didn't really like this Call of Duty. It was pretty much a disappointment for me. At the start it was good but as the patches and sh all the started adding all the shit. Oh, pretty much after they kept on updating it, it got pretty crap. And I just didn't really like it after that. And pretty much, um, this is going to be telling me three reasons why I think it was good. Because I actually, I'm surprised I even found one reason, let alone three. And yeah, and I couldn't think of any more reasons why I liked it. But still, if you guys have any reason, other reasons why you guys liked it, um, tell me in the comment section. And yep, and now let's get into why I think Call of Duty Advanced Warfare was good. Coming in at number three, this is going to be the fact that um, they kept the game on old gen and next gen. And um, pretty much... I like that because they're trying to make the 360 and the PS3 last because I think next year or 2017 I think the PS3 servers are getting shut down. Not just that, the Xbox 360 ones as well. And um, yeah, so I think I feel like they made this game to try and make the old consoles last. And um, obviously they had to make the um, old gen console versions a bit crap compared to the other one because obviously it'll be cheaper in price and obviously the hardware limitations. So like for example on um, 360 you wouldn't have been able to get the royalty weapons, the MP40, um, the STG, the AK-47, all these new weapons and all this new, I think it's even all the new stuff in the advanced supply drops I don't think you could get on, um, I don't I don't even know if you could get advanced supply drops on, um, what do you call it, 360 and PS3. Let me know in the comments section if you can, because I literally, the reason why this is only at the number 3 spot, because I think the number 2 spot should have been, isn't really as good, and the main reason why this is number 3 is because it didn't really affect me. Because, obviously I'm on next gen, and by the time Advanced Warfare came out, I got rid of my... P not PS3, uh, Xbox 360, and so pretty much I've got an Xbox One, and yeah, and it is pretty much better, I'd say the, the next gen is better than the old gen, Con not console wise, but game wise, the game runs a bit smoother than it does on 360, and yeah, obviously and all the new like stuff in there, and, um, and also the completely better graphics, and um, I will talk about graphics pretty in later, but for now, number three reason is the fact that they help they try to make the old gen consoles last a bit longer by bringing them out on Xbox 360 and PS3. Coming in at the number two spot, this is going to be the idea of supply drops. Now before you say what, the supply drops were terrible, I know they were terrible, but think about it. At the start of the year, we saw these supply drops, we thought, oh my goodness, this is, this is amazing. We could actually, we could actually earn like gear, weapon variants. And I do have to admit, the supply, the supply weight is good. It's what Sledgehammer t made afterwards, which was what kind of fucked it up, like, Mainly, it wasn't even mainly the normal supply drops. It's more of the lines of the advanced supply drops. So they bring them out on, um, they bring them out on Xbox One and PS3. Uh, not three, four. Like I said, I don't know if they actually brought them out on the old gen. I'm pretty sure, I don't know if they did or not. And um, pretty much all they did was they, remo they removed the... Um, no, they, don't remember. they added the new stuff into the advanced supply drops and they made it so that the only way to get them was by leveling up or buying them. And um, that was like, I couldn't understand why you guys would hate them because you can't, 
you can't unlock them after um, Grandmaster. But still, the normal supply drops are pretty decent. I know it's annoying to get that care package, and even I'm annoyed because I have at least two variants of each AMR9. No joke. Obviously, I can't have two of the permanent variants, but still. And yeah, so I still get pissed off, at them, but still, at the beginning, the idea of supply drops were good. And all you have to admit that. And also, the MK14 obituary. I don't know how you pronounce it. But still, number two is the idea that supply drops would have been good if Sledgehammer actually, actually, like, released them better. As in, like, made better ways to earn them. And coming in at the number one reason why I think Advanced Warfare is good, and this is going to be the campaign. Now, I haven't seen a campaign this good since Modern Warfare 3, which came out like four years ago. And the, f the main reason why I like it is the cuts, the pre rendered cutscenes. And um, I think Halo, I think Bung, I don't know how you used to say it, Bungie or Bungie. I don't know, I think some people say Bungie, but I think British call it Bungie, I don't know. And I pretty much, they beat us to the punch. And they, they, which ain't, wait, it was Halo 4, wasn't it, when they did the pre-rendered cutscenes? I think it is, I don't know. I'll have to have a look. And, um, another reason why I like the, um, I like the campaign is because of the characters. Three in, well not three, two in general, but three of a different thing I'm going to talk about. Right, so the three I'm on about, or the two I'm on about, is Gideon and Jonathan Irons. Hey, I'm in a game. Well, my next second name's not Irons. My second name is Short, but never mind. And um, pretty much one thing about Jonathan Irons, he's Kevin Spacey. Like, if you don't know who Kevin Spacey is, he's in... He's been in a, a bunch of other stuff, but most recently he's been in House of Cards, which is on Netflix. And, um, yeah, I don't, I don't have Netflix, so I can't see it. I hope to get Netflix one day, because I've heard he's a pretty good actor. And, um, and all the stuff that he did in Advanced Warfare is, isn't half of what he did in, in, like, House of Cards and that, like. And, um... Yeah, I'll watch a bunch of other... I'll get down to watching other Kevin Spacey stuff. And also the EXO upgrade system. That was a, that was an innovative thing for the campaign. And pretty much you could... Pretty much you could... Um, you could level up your um, EXO suit. And... You got, you got the points by collecting intel getting kills, getting grenade kills, getting headshots and that was an amazing thing because you could improve your reload speed, you could improve your health, um, your, your sprinting and even hold more grenades and that was Training. perfect and um, the other person I'll talk about is Gideon he, Gideon, he's probably my favourite character out of them all and um, this like my favourite line is what Gideon says, and he'll and I'll show you it here. And um, the other person I'll talk about is the play is the playable character uh, Mitchell. And I don't know who the actual actor is who plays this, but I think I think an actor plays Mitchell. I think he does. I'll have to research it. I'm pretty sure he does. But Gideon, I think is. The actual like person who plays Gideon is actually called Gideon. I think he's called Gideon Amari or something. I don't know. I'll have to have a look. But here's my favourite line by Gideon. Get in the elevator. The other elevator, Mitchell. So yeah, those are my top three reasons why Advanced Warfare was good. And I would make a top five or ten reasons why Advanced Warfare was bad or terrible or horrible. I don't know. I'll just think of a good vocabulary to call it. And uh, but I would do that. But unfortunately, there's way, way, 
way too many reasons why I hated this game. And I feel like if I ever want to, if I ever want to do a video like that, it will have to be a freaking series. Like, I'll have to do, like, I don't think I can put up any, enough time in one video to put, to put every single reason why I hated Advance War. I might have to make it a series. And, um, yeah. Well, I'll give you one, I'll give you one reason, just off, just with, like, four characters. AMR9. Yeah. And just, I told you about that earlier, but still, thank you for watching my top three reasons why Advanced Warfare was good. Like I said, the campaign was excellent. The idea for Advanced Supply Drops was, it was good at the start, and then it, but if they worked on it better, then it could have been some especially great and um, yeah the, the last one was the fact that they brought it out on old gen as well and yep thank you for watching if you agree with these reasons why it was good then hit that like button down below and also comment if you want to suggest the top five or top ten or any top whatever and um, if it's interesting enough I'll make it a video and you'll get a shout out and yep, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys maybe in the future with reasons why I hate Advanced Warfare. Bye-bye!